Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 19 of Let's Play Sea of Stars. Alright, we made it to pretty much the uh, Mushroom Marsh, or whatever the hell you call it. And looks like we got a turtle-like enemy? A fun toys. What a great name. I don't like the way it's bobbing its head. So we need to shut it down. Oh, it resists, uh... I guess it resists all melee? Oh. That's how the attack goes. It just lands in front of you and then explodes. for you. Ah, too early. Maybe it's just all melee it resists. Either way, shouldn't be too much trouble. Hello. Shroomy Shroomy Knight. Actually, I should just do this. Go full charge. Oh wow, they even resist the Sunball. So yeah, that where our attacks are just not gonna be great. Sad to say. Even that did so little, holy crap. Are you kidding me? One HP? Survived on one HP. Absolute nonsense. Get them out of here. Alright, so we can go right or we can go up. I think we go up first. And there's a reason for that. A leaf cape? Ah, it's for you. Brimming with ancient magic. Alright. At least we're getting more defense. Even though it could use more offense despite getting new weapons recently. Maybe we just don't have enough levels. I think that's what it comes down to. But honestly, in a game like this, you... Not many places to grind. And you also don't really... I don't know, need to? So there's no sense worrying about stuff like that. Alright, I'm gonna swap you up for... Let's try Garl. I think that would be for the best. Oh, 
Oh wow, that actually connected. Good for you, I guess. You're still dead. I guess you can't even go in the marsh at all, even if you want to. So, I mean, what are the odds you're gonna survive it? That muck gets in your lungs, uh, good luck breathing ever again. Hey, more cabbages. I'm sure they'll smell just as nice and not give you much more gas than normal. For being in a place like this. Oh! We've been spotted. That's no good. But we have the ambush. Explain that. I don't know how you expect us to do a combo that has both blunt and strike on the very first turn game. You're asking for too much. Too late. Yeah, we didn't even do that much damage regardless. See, a lot of these fights are just gonna take a long ass while. Longer than they need to. But we gotta deal with them. They're just... slow. It's really the only bad thing that's going for them. The slowness of it all. Sure, let's just do this. They resisted! Get back in there. Absolute rubbish. There's hardly any ways to just finish fights so quick. Not enough ways, at least. Alright, so I just go up there. But I can also go down there. But what way leads to progress? Apparently not this way. Okay, I see what I gotta do. I think I can fall down the other hole. Maybe I'll fall down here. Yeah! Spirit of Ninja. Combo points build 10% faster. Okay, we don't need that many abacuses. Not all at once, so, uh, yeah. Let's give that to Garl. Now I should be able to get up there. Hold on. If I climb up here, I can get to that chest, right? Obsidian ore. Three of them. 
Aha! Okay, we're in, still inside the hideout. Not anymore, we aren't. Okay, we're making steady progress in this place. I think next fight will level up. Looks like this big mushroom should react to the time of day. So if it's night, what happens? Oh! I like that the music changed. I kind of want those in those mushrooms as well. I thought the bottom path was the way forward. Uh, I guess that's the way forward if you want a lot of mushrooms in your uh, dish. That's your end goal. I would like to think the end goal is actually saving the world, but you do you. So we didn't level up, we missed it by 26 points. Oh, hello. We got new mushroom types now? Oh, we can't get to the other side yet. Way we still can't. Alright, that was pointless. Make it nighttime again. Okay, I'm missing something that's blatantly obvious. Maybe I was supposed to drop down somewhere else. You don't jump on these mushrooms at all? Wait, look at that mushroom there. Would you like some light in your mouth? Wait a second. Oh, okay, that's a, uh, that's interesting. There's a bit of a puzzle element to it. That's how you get over there. So you have to shine the light directly on the mushroom to make it do that. Oh, wait a second. No, no, I want to go back. Level up! We're only at level 14? Seriously? Get some mana points, I guess. You get some mana points. Mana points for you. Physical attack for you. And mana points for you. You see how I go with a very rigid system. As long as I get more mana points, we cast more spells. And I think that's going to serve us a lot better. I think that'll lead to that lever we saw earlier. There it is. That's how we can move farther ahead. I know that's there. But I want to go back to a... Uh, where I missed something. Yeah. 
So I know I bounced here. I didn't go down this way. I know that was just for mushrooms. I want to see if it was for something else. And sadly, it was not. And I don't even like mushrooms that much in real life. It's like, I enjoy the smell of mushroom, but not, like, the texture of the mushroom. They, they do sing with the music. That's so red. We need a key to open that? If I get it here. What do we got here? Who lives here? Do you think someone lives here? Welcome, welcome. I am Yomara, a simple hermit. Yeah, we've already met your sister. Please, there's no need for that tone. Romaya's evil ways are precisely that, Romaya's. I am but a neutral observer in the affairs of this world. You're a seer, aren't you? Does that mean we're getting a prophecy again? Why, if it ain't the warrior, cook. I have been expecting you. Please, eat a fruit from my tree. Really? Don't mind if I do. Now, yeah, what could possibly go wrong? Just one now. The taste is unbelievable. What are they called? Pears. Well, I would never use pears for cooking. They're perfect just the way they are. I knew you were the chosen one. Hmm? Being a seer has its perks. Like knowing who is capable of fully appreciating a fresh pear. So. That's it? Yes, the threads of fate speaks, seldom speak to me about the near future. I only deal in the cataloging of grander arcs. My apologies, but I have no insights for you. You. You are... A cold breeze is rising. Why don't you come in for a little bit? Alright. Now, which volume was it? Probably somewhere with my older work. The Spirit That Will Carry the Night. I was really overthinking titles back then. Primal Fear? No. Oh, that's where I put Oveda Seasons. Ah, there it is. Ethereal Occurrences, Volume 2. Let's see here. Oh, yes. I remember now. Another prophecy! This is exciting! Him. Immortal Alchemist, step forward. There's no one else. Excuse me? You can fancy yourself a god if you like, but you remain bound by fate all the same. Now, listen up. During your travels with these young adventurers, you will meet the dead of a forgotten race. Among them will be one asking to fight alongside Solstice Warriors. 
be welcoming. For this entity's unbreakable will is the key to achieving the one great feat of alchemy that eludes you still. What is she talking about? Living glass. Could it truly be? Thank you, Crone of the Marsh. That will be all. I carry a small inventory of items for sale if you need. And the fireplace is yours if you want to cook or rest. Oh, you will need a key to progress further. Here. Oh, Yomara's key. Thanks, Yomara! Be well. Alright, what do you got? Uh, we could use another leaf cape. This one for girl. And I would like to get one more for Sarai. Oh, the Eye of Yomara! I remember seeing that. Back in that shop in Brisk, but it was way too expensive. I don't think there's anything else we can really sell. Anyway, let's save. Alright, now that we got the key, we can go back to that door. Wait. We can look around a bit more. We can just take our berries and our wheat. There we go. What else is over to the right, then? Oh, wait a minute. What about behind the island? Let's check for secrets. The secrets, there are none. Well, if there were any that we missed, at least the parrot will tell us where. Maybe. Hello. Good, it canceled her turn. By, you know, killing them. The best way to cancel someone's turn. By canceling their existence. Oh, that was question pack five. Wait, how many question packs do I have? Well, I didn't miss any. And I didn't miss any music sheets so far, so... That's a good sign. I'm making progress in item collections. Okay, there's a cave over here. We'll bring that down. And from what I gather, we could go in the cave. So I think we should do that first. Wait. What? Can we only enter it? Can we get stuff done? If we enter it from above? I think that's what it is. Let's try through this way first. Maybe that'll let us get up more. Let's see if this'll work. Or maybe this is just leading to progress.
Yeah, I think this leads to progress. Uh, go back. I'm gonna try this way instead. Ah, good thing I did go back. Girl and Rashawn got Venom Bomb. Sounds pretty dope. Maybe that's a maybe they should have used that slogan to sell more copies of Spider-Man 5. Is this seriously all I got going for me? Just go that way. Is there another way into that cave from up here? That looks suspicious. Maybe it can't go there yet. But it does look like something you could just break over here. Hold on, I'm gonna look there again. Oh! Pff, duh! You can actually climb that height. Why did I think you couldn't? That's just me being stupid. I thought that would just be too high by a slight amount. But alas, we could have done that earlier. <laughs> Ah, uh, better late than never, I guess. I just finished them off. Gradually. But eventually. Yeah, Rashad's actually great for dealing with them. Those foes specifically. Oh, I should have powered up. Oh, too late now. Kidding me? I was facing the wrong way. That's better. Shroomy Shivs. That's such a goofy name, but okay. Increases potency of venom attacks. Sign me up. Won't do as much favors here, but we'll take what we can get. Oh, right, 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 right. That's where I got the combo. We don't need to go here anymore. We need to go back through this crap again. At least the sun doesn't burn the mushrooms or anything. Or sun rays. Gotta dig that mushroom enthusiasm. I thought you could read that. Oh. Training for something? Aha! Hate to interrupt, or maybe I don't hate to interrupt. I would actually hate to have you live longer. 
So we're not gonna do that. Okay, so what was the point of like doing that when I could have just gone up there? Oh. I couldn't have gone up there. That was only as far as I could go. Alright, well now I can get to the other side. Oh, I can climb over here, too. And doing that would just lead you back up here again. I thought that was something new, too, and that was also nothing new. Two. This game is gonna give me a severe case of brain rot and I'm gonna look everywhere, even in places where it's obvious that there are no secrets. Because what if it is? It's gonna drive me nuts. I should save again. Okay, there, that must be the castle. What happens if you do this? Ah! We have a path now. The Clockwork Castle. Ooh, what's this? There's a path over here. It does not lead need to lead to any secrets because the front gate's actually locked. I didn't even see it. And now what I see is some scums that need to go away. too worried about the ones on the side. It's a boulder guy in the middle that could be trouble. There, that'll shut it down. I can still like jam into the music. this lever is for to get in there. Hold on. I didn't look at the other side. I wonder what's over on the right then. It won't budge. Okay, there is a chest, but I think we gotta go around the long way to get it. Oh, can't do anything with that. We got some more friendly critters. And I use that term loosely. A cog prototype? Ooh, that'll be for story time. I like story time. Okay. Oh, another campfire. Oh, speaking of story time, 
This is perfect. Alright, Teeks, I got something for ya. The Clockwork Castle. Why can't you tell us about where we are? Oh, I didn't even read this story. Let's read that first. The Two Alchemists. Countless millennia ago, two powerful alchemists named Rishan and Aforal set out to create the Elixir of Life and succeeded. As all things in alchemy came at a price, or come at a price, the gift of immortality caused their bodies to decay, leading them to conceal their hideousness under colorful robes. Reveling at first in the bright side of their immortal coil, they spent centuries nurturing the world and creating wonders to inspire its mortals. Over time, however, Eforal grew increasingly jealous of the ephemerality he would never taste again. Thus began his wicked journey to the forbidden schools of alchemy. A journey which would see every last bit of good in his heart dissipate as he experimented with soul, bone, flesh, and blood alike. As fate would have it, Eforal fully embraced evil and merged as the Fleshmancer, a vengeful immortal plaguing the world with its monstrous creations. Rashan tried intervening as best he could, but all that ensued was unspeakable chaos and collateral damage, as the two former friends fought with godlike powers. After much struggle, Rishan discovered the flesh minion's only weakness to be solar and lunar magic, a power bestowed upon those born during a solstice. That would be you two. He began training these children to become solstice warriors, singularly tasked with culling the numbers of the Fleshmaster's creations. But Eforal's knowledge was also growing. Eventually, he became capable of creating oddities of unlimited potential, known as dwellers. They would be impervious to all forms of magic, except during a total eclipse, when solstice warriors would have a very short window to attempt taking them down. And dwellers, it turned out, were creatures in development feeding on local life. Left to their own devices for too long, they would evolve into world eaters, spelling doom, doom for all. Armed with knowledge and power, solstice warriors would patrol the world, tracking dwellers to determine which should be taken down during the next eclipse. If they remained vigilant, there would never be a world eater. But Rashan knew such a stalemate would only cause Eforal to devise something even worse. In a desperate attempt to get ahead, Rashan boldly performed transmutation alchemy on the very space-time continuum itself. After successfully splitting reality into countless timelines and parallel worlds, he shelled his alchemy vial and took up the mantle of Archivist or Archivist. On an endless journey across all realities, he would catalog every possible outcome in search of a resolution to the throes of the Fleshmancer. Meanwhile, Aforal rejoiced at the infinite number of opportunities for destruction that had just opened up to him. To find some measure of peace amidst their immortal conflict, the two alchemists made a pact to let the fate of each timeline play out on its own. And so the game of Cat and Mouse began, played by dwellers and solstice warriors on one level, and by Rashan and Eforal on another. Across a myriad of timelines and over numerous centuries, some worlds would never be visited by Eforal, while others would be cursed by his mark. Once marked, it was only a matter of time until a world met its finality, often following centuries of struggle. Each would either be destroyed by a world eater, or permanently saved by the ascension of a pair of solstice warriors into guardian gods. As to when Rishan plans on recomposing the timelines, or whether he even knows how, remains to be seen. The end. Alright, here another story. The Clockwork Castle. Play the music again. When Aforal first, first arrived in our realm, he brought with him a group of kid geniuses. If stories are to be believed, Kale and his friends had struck a deal with him to free their people. In the Fleshmancer's new base of operations, 
they would toil away, creating machines for obscure uses in realms unknown. But such a base had yet to be built, so as always, a all set out to locate the best collaborator there was to be found. He needed someone morally neutral, for it was execution he desired, not competition. With this new lair, he would prove himself superior to Rashan by building a castle that would control time within itself. The watchmaker was the perfect fit. She was only interested in her craft, and otherwise had no interest in Eforo's machinations. All she asked for in return was a workshop of her own, where she could be left to her devices. The deal was struck, and together they designed the Clockwork Castle. The watchmaker began drafting schematics for the kids to start production on, while she'd handle the more intricate parts herself. Meanwhile, Ifrol enchanted countless cogs and bricks, giving them an aura of magic that none could understand. Construction was almost complete when Kale and his crew made their move. One night, they flipped exactly the right cogs so that once the castle's perpetual movement was activated, its core function would backfire. They had no goal in mind other than foiling the Fleshmancer's plans, and in that respect, they succeeded resoundingly. What came of the sabotage that time now came to a halt within the Clockwork Castle, or rather, within its inhabitants. And they had played their tricks so well, that Eforal didn't even know they'd done it on purpose. There would be no impressing Rashan this time, but he could definitely see some upsides to a workshop that operated forever. As a final touch, he ensured that any mortal leaving the castle would see themselves age instantly by the amount of time they'd spent inside. Upon completion, a furl locked everyone inside for a century, ensuring that the watchmaker and the children could never leave, lest they die instantly of old age. The watchmaker thought nothing of it, and relished the opportunity to focus on her craft for an eternity. Yet in this time prison, Kale and his friends would have to work day and night. Proud of having done the right thing, it seems they are at peace with their situation. Perhaps getting to be kids forever helps, in a way. From day one they would always deliver, while adding just the right amount of breakage to give the Fleshmancer countless headaches without raising suspicion. One can only feel gratitude when contemplating the suffering that's been delayed, or even prevented, thanks to their cunning game of wasting a furl's time. The end. That would seem like hell, like to live in a place where you can live forever, but you but you age for how long you've been in there. Like you wouldn't even get to see the world. And you'd only be around like the same people all the time. I wonder how we can get these gates to open. Or these parcullises. So it'll be nice to have a shortcut. Instead, I'll just have to take some treasure. We've got a new girl weapon. Could power a gigantic clock, and probably did. The Clockwork Castle. We made it. The Dweller of Strife is somewhere in there. You. We are bound by oath not to let you enter the Acolyte's headquarters. And what about your oath as Solstice Warriors? That one was not taken willingly. Valir, please hear me out. Step aside right now! Stick to the plan, Brugaves. The Dweller will knock some sense into them. Fine. We only need to buy some time. Please, Zale, surrender. Forget it. Then it brings me no joy. 
but we must ensure the Acolytes finish the waking ritual. Bring it! Do your worst! Uh, hey, I think we should sit this one out. Okay, we'll watch. Okay, it's 2v2 at least. Oh, good block. Oh, I don't think we'll have time to get them all. At least we can just get this one. I thought you'd be vulnerable to, like, solar. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Could've been worse. Three attacks and they come so sudden. I'm surprised that Solar actually breaks her because isn't she Solar? So weird. Oh wow, she gets another special attack right away. That didn't take too long. Holy god. Let's go with the soon rang. Moon Shakus. Oh, even that didn't suck too much. Oh, I wish Zale had the turn. But alas. Oh, okay. Even if we use the combo, it's only gonna. Oh no, no, it won't. Why am I thinking it only hit once? It's only if you mess up the timing. Oh, I think Brugaze is down. Right now it's just you. Didn't even need to charge that one. That should be enough. You can still join us if... Get lost! Don't you dare! 
Let's go, Brewgaves. Oh, uh, okay, you can just join us again. Alright, so I guess this would be a good time to stop here. And in the next part, we'll finally go into Clockwork Castle. See everyone.